Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm from getalifeatsea.com and I'm here today to talk to you about three challenges you may experience should you choose to work on board a cruise ship. So number one, the long hours and days that will be required of you should you choose to take a position on board. For any line and any position on board, you will be required to work seven days a week for the full duration of your contract. And for the most part, that's about six months in duration. Now with regards to hours, IMO, which is International Maritime Organization, and ILO, which is International Labor Organization, dictate that no crew member on board any vessel may work more than 14 hours in a 24-hour period. Now, does that mean you're going to be working 14 hours a day, every day, for the full duration of your contract? Probably not, but it could happen, so it is something I tell people to be prepared for. Typically, hours will be dictated by the position and department that you are a part of, and they do vary from department to department. I tend to tell people to usually expect about 9 to 12 hours per day, and then be pleasantly surprised when they are scheduled for port time. Now, to give you some typical hours and how things work, as I've already noted, most people are scheduled for about 9 to 12 hours per day, usually working in three split shifts of three to four hours each. And on a typical cruise with most cruise lines, you're looking at cruise lengths of about seven to 10 days in duration with three or four sea days and three or four port days. Now sea days are, are long days, the ship is all day at sea, and so for most departments those are very busy days, so definitely expect the nine to 12 hours on those days. And then for port days, again, dependent on the department that you're a part of, your supervisor or manager may be able to schedule you for port time off. Now most departments you're gonna get some port time off for sure, but other departments may get more than your department, for example. So I usually tell people with regards to port time to expect definitely a few hours um, on a couple of those port days, if not a full half day. And oftentimes, again, dependent on your department, you may even be scheduled for a full day off in port. And if you do get that full day off, uh, you will be working that evening, hence the seven day a week work week. Now, number two, let's talk about being away from home for long periods of time. You're going to be on board for the full duration of your contract. That's usually, again, going to be about six months in duration. And you will definitely miss home. In addition to that fact, communication may be a little bit harder than you've experienced on shore. We do, of course, with most cruise lines, have onboard internet, satellite, and onboard phone, again, satellite phone, for crew members to make contact with home. You can purchase a crew internet card from the crew office or a crew phone card in order to Skype or phone home. Um, but it is still hard when you're missing, you know, special holidays and birthdays and special events. Uh, a lot of what other crew members do as well is um, make use of the free internet ashore when they're on uh, port time and maybe go use a crew internet cafe on shore um, or free services uh, that are available just because it can tend to be a little bit cheaper than making use of the satellite services on board the cruise ship. Number three is definitely something that not a lot of people think about, um, but it does happen. And that is fielding somewhat frustrating questions when you are home on your leave. Now, again, as I've already noted, you're going to have been just having completed a six-month contract, and you're going to have worked seven days a week for the full duration of that contract. So you're going to have worked very, very hard. But you're also going to have been playing very, very hard during your time off and in port and, and in the evenings and things like that. So, um, you know, a lot of your pictures and things that you will have posted on Facebook probably will have given your friends and family the indication that you've been vacationing for the last six months. You know, what they're going to have seen are your amazing photos, uh, swimming with stingrays or hiking volcanoes or bungee jumping in Australia or whatever, wherever you've been on your itinerary. That's the idea 
idea that they're gonna have gotten um, from all your your messages and things um, from the ship so um, when you get home you may have to field some difficult and somewhat frustrating questions like uh, for example you know oh it, it must be really nice to have, be on vacation all the time or uh, when are you gonna be getting a real job and you know that can be a little bit frustrating you're gonna have be home for you know six to eight weeks usually in between contracts and uh, not a lot of people understand what cruise ship life is really like as a crew member and so you know dealing with that and answering questions um, and even sometimes dealing with a little bit of jealousy because like let's remember you are traveling the world and getting paid to do it um, there are a lot of things like that you may have to deal with when you're home one thing I will say is to remember that um, a cruise ship job is a real job and getting life at sea is a real career you know some people will only stay for a contract or two but some of you may stay for years on end and it is a real career I just personally feel that for me anyway it was just a lot more exciting um, and adventurous than anything I've experienced on shore and so that's okay um, it's your life you have the right to make it amazing in whatever way you see fit and so yeah I just wanted to discuss that with you as well so those are three challenges that um, I believe that most people working on board a cruise ship experience if you like this video please do make a comment in the comment section below or give it a thumbs up and of course I would love if you subscribe to my channel or checked out my website at www.getalifeatsea.com and I would love as well if you have any other questions about working on board a cruise ship or any ideas for future videos that you would like me to do please again email me or make a comment in the comment section below thanks so much again my name is Amanda from getalifeatsea.com and I do look forward to seeing you next time